Hey guys, how's it going? Optimus Primo here. Um, we're getting set to level some blocks on the ground so that we can set a shipping container on top. But this time, we're gonna spice it up. We're calling spicing up our shipping container. So stay tuned so you can see the whole process. some spices here ready to mix them up so we we did a research and this is like the natural way to go about to uh, keep rodents out from whatever premises you like in this case we're gonna pour it where our we're gonna be setting our container it's gonna go under so we don't get no mice rats any kind of rodent coming in, you know. So we got some red hot original hot sauce. I'm gonna pour it in. This is for the homie Frank. Yeah, we're just gonna put everything in there. Got some uh, concentrated le uh, lemon juice. Throw it all in there. So again, guys, this is like the natural way to keep rodents out. Just throw another one in there. We're gonna do all of it. All right. <clears throat> um, got some grounded peppers, tahini. I'm sorry, cayenne pepper. Just toss it all in there. Why not? Let's do some more limes. Right now that we got our limes cut, we're just gonna squeeze them in there. Ooh, it's getting, I can smell it. I'm about to sneeze. It's nice and spicy. Citric. Very nice. All right. And 
gonna spice it up. Throw some jalapenos in there. Well, serranos jalapenos. Gonna spice it up. Mm. All right. We're gonna cut them. All right. <coughs> now that we got them chopped up, throw them in there. That's uh, kind of spicy. It's good spicy. Or we're just gonna throw a gallon of water in there and mix it up. So, with that, we're gonna grab some from in there. Let's mix it up a little. Oh, that is spicy. I can still feel it. <laughs> spicy, but healthy spicy. Grab a sample, which uh, we're gonna be using later. So stick around. We're gonna use this for something else. So here we are with our potion. We're just gonna drop it all evenly throughout the whole spot here where the container is gonna go. gonna rake it a little just to get it everywhere has been dropped on top of the solid blocks and it's looking good nice and level all right let's open it up so we have some materials here it's a one inch radiant foam board one by threes two by fours and two by threes. This is our, we'll call it our sub framing ledgers. And this is gonna be a ventilated system. So just to give you an idea, this will be our floor system. The idea is we suck in fresh air, it ventilates this way and distributes throughout the floor. What it'll do is it'll distribute the, the air up into the walls. And on this back wall, we're doing two inches of radiant foam and then uh, radiant OSB for the, um, I guess, finish side. And then the hot air will continue up and we have the roof ventilated and Really what it is, is uh, shipping containers airtight. So we're creating a interior envelope that's ventilated inside of our system. So all that hot air will go up and then we're gonna have a tool storage here and it'll ventilate out. So that's kind of the idea behind what we're doing. We already drilled holes here. We did a little flex seal and uh, galvanized nuts and bolts with a rubber gasket on the outside. And that's our ledger. And one, once we get interior here, we're just gonna build it out with insulation, radiant. And this wall will actually have two gaps of ventilation. And that air will come from the floor, up the walls and out the ceiling. So that's the idea of what we're working with. Here's our flooring system. We have a fresh air intake piping that comes up. It's basically PEX pipe. And we created these little insulated cavities here so we can do vents for fresh airflow. And then we are about to put the subfloor in for this half of the project. 
and we'll continue on with the other subfloor. We put some backer in for potentially a TV mount on down the road. Here we are with our subfloor system in place. It's air ventilated up through the walls and through the uh, ceiling. We've got PEX piping that runs under the uh, subfloor for fresh air ventilation. For those people that are interested in a uh, fresh air intake, it's similar to something like an aircraft or a uh, Titan Wright RV. So we have a uh, fresh air ventilation system filtered. It runs through a PEX pipe, which is super small. But the idea is all you need is a puff of fresh air. So we're, we're gonna mount these uh, vents here. This is like a RV vent. It's similar to if you're in an air, aircraft or something. It's just a little puff of fresh air. And this will also help us keep a positive pressure in this conditioned space. The panels are screwed on the wall and we've got silicone and liquid nails. It ain't going nowhere and it's uh, right and tight. So you can see. For the receptacles, the air vent. Here we are, we've got our sidewalls up. And we um, pre-drilled and screwed everything. This is our back panel here with our vents, electrical boxes. This is the other wall. And we are about to work on our ceiling system. And the idea is we're gonna have three layers of um, one inch rigid foam board radiant. So this is our ceiling assembly. We have one inch rigid foam board, three quarter inch that floats. So we have a gap here for the radiant. It doesn't look like much, but it's designed for ventilation. All right, guys, finish caulking all the joints, screw heads. Also ran the electrical. This is where the electrical box is gonna go. It's hard to see, but we have our walls primed and painted. And we're gonna move on to the next step, which will be finishing the third layer of foam on the ceiling, and then the ceiling system. And I picked up some trim today, so we'll trim it out with baseboard and some crown molding. So we will move on to the next step. So this is for our container project, which will eventually become a bunkhouse. So what we're doing is pre-wiring a electrical box. We've labeled all of our lines and the circuits, and I'm just plugging in some of the connections and we have our ground right here. So anyhow, this will be ready for a uh, full bunkhouse remodel on down the road. We're just using it for storage for now. So we have our oversized J box wired in for the uh, container project. This is what we're working with. It looks tight and right. These are all of our labels. And then we have all of our boxes labeled as well, like that. So we're looking like we are good to go. And this is the, uh, the roof ceiling system. We're gonna trim it out and paint it and continue on to the next step. So far, it's coming along. We've got some shelf framing in the back. We have a special door that we are customizing. It's a metal fireproof door that we're making heavy duty to insulate. 
and we have just installed our edge banding. We, we picked um, some edge banding up. Basically the edge band, the edge of the face frame, just to give it like a sharp little detail. So that's drawing, we'll get this finished out. And then uh, we'll get some paint on it. That'll look good. And we got a little bit more to trim over here. We got this front wall to trim out more or less caulk and paint. And then we will be onto our exterior details. Here's some of our tool storage. We're not quite done yet, but we've got uh, basically room to uh, stack bins. This side will fit 18 bins. This side will fit a little bit less because we've got an air conditioner and a fresh air intake that's going to the bottom. But as of right now, this is our tool storage shelving. And we did do a double layer, two by three, two by four. So it, it's built pretty solid. Here's an update on the container. We finished out the interior. So we have our shelves here. We've got a little 5,000 BTU window unit. We have our fresh air intake vents underneath. Our electrical J box. And then we just cut the whole end for the air conditioning unit. We'll be installing that. We've got a couple of receptacles to button up and then we'll work on our metal door. It's a fireproof uh, metal door. And the interior turned out nice. It's all nice and white, smooth. We trimmed it out. We've got some finer trim details, like the casing here, a little crown molding up here. And all in all, it's so far it's turned out pretty good. So this is how the door is looking so far. Getting a prep to spray some foam. So remember what we saved from our potion for the rodents. Um, we're gonna try something spicy right here. So I got some cut up turkey right here. We're gonna mix it up and um, We'll see how how that goes. Try some spiciness. Ooh -wee. So I also got some onions and some green bell peppers to mix it up. Right. Here we got some lemon pepper seasoning. Throw some and some pink Himalayan salt. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna mix it up now. My hands are clean. I washed them before all this. All right. Once you get it all mixed and everything. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about two hours or so. Or it all depends how long you wanna keep it in the fridge for uh, marinating. But I'm gonna do two hours, all right? So there's the mix. It's time to marinate. So after two hours of marinating, here we have it on the pot cooking. This is how it's looking. It's smelling spicy. It's smelling really good. Mmm. Food is done. This is how it came out. It smells really good and spicy. So, we got a tortilla right here. Let's try it. the onions and the green bell peppers smelling good got an avocado right here 
can never go wrong with avocado. It's gonna be aguacates de Mexico. Look at how good that looks. Nice. Get some good avocado in there. Put a little more of the pink Himalayan salt. And let's try it. Good and spicy, but let's spice it up a little more. Mm. Ooh. Ah, there you go. Merry Christmas. That's how it's looking. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video and catch you on the flip side.